Ocean 10, respond code 3. Hello everyone, as always, I'm Peter and this is the police. So everyone put your hands where I can see them and we're going to get right into this. Uh, so let's see, papers here, we got citizen earnings have fallen 9% since New Year, that's nothing new. Former City Hall employee admits to, officially, to official unemployment data far from reality. Okay, so that's the, the city hall. That's not uh, the police thing that we're doing. Maybe with one of our dead officers, who we might be collecting our uh, their paychecks for for an illegal fund that we're doing. Yeah, that has nothing to do with that. <laughs> Unemployment in Freeburg is lowest in history. Well, that's a good thing. Probably because the mob is hiring everyone. All right, we're gonna get going here. I hope everyone's having a great Monday today. I know I am. Just got off of work and decided to do one of these here. So I drank too much. I don't think I can hold it together today. Can I go home? Nope. You son of a bitch. Birch, alcoholic son of a bitch. You just, no, you're working today. No exception. Are you, did you both go out on a bender last night, Robbins? Seriously? <laughs> what is wrong with you? No, you had to come in today too. What the hell? Okay. Oh, curbside. The last few months I've been thinking, uh, taking antidepressants three times a day, but today I ran out of my prescription. The pharmacy said that they're getting more t in tomorrow, but I'm afraid without the pills, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to be much, I'm not going to be much good. Sorry. Uh, my mind keeps digging up all kinds of disturbing thoughts. Can I go home? All right. Yes, but you have to come in tomorrow after you get a prescription. That I will make an exception for with curbside. No big deal. So Robbins on a, uh, yeah, Robbins who has a hangover is going to be in charge today. That's just great. All right, let's get out there today. See what's going on. Oh, let's pick a new, what we, let's see. Did I listen to this one? This looks new. Snag it by uh, Len Bernard uh, or Barnard. Yeah, I don't think we played this one yet. Let's go with that one. I don't know if I did or not. I don't recognize the album cover, but I'll probably recognize the song. This may be the one that got me flagged on YouTube for uh, 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 copyright that then disappeared after that. I don't know. Anyway, we got thirty-four thousand dollars in our little retirement fund. Uh, hire female cops tomorrow's the time. Oh shit! I never did this. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. I'm totally gonna get screwed over your friend sent you your share from the cocaine i'm taking everything this time look at that forty-two thousand. it's amazing all right we got a call already disorderly conduct and out oh i for a second i thought that said emma watson for just a split second <laughs> the elderly emma weston called in a complaint about her neighbors her house is shaking from loud sounds of gnashing metal and the roar of turbines accompanied by some strange beeping noises <laughs> though the window she sees uh, saw people moving around okay uh mcgillicuddy this is your first call go knock him dead <laughs> go go show him your fa fabulous beard and take care of this all right so now we got a problem where we need half the force being female cops i don't think half of our force is female cops and i totally forgot about that deadline and now we're probably screwed uh oh, hostage situation with a fat fatal casualty. Well, technically, most casualties are fatal. I don't think that's, that's like a double whatever. Anyway, all right, so at the asylum, a patient in the local asylum rebelled against the nurses uh, during breakfast. Three nurses have been wounded, while others remain locked in, a pa in with the patients in the dining area. They've threatened to kill one nurse every hour that they release, and apparently, there's also one casualty. Well, SWAT's definitely going on this paddy wagon. Last time we had a. Uh, patient with a needle. I believe it was at the hospital though. Uh, Robbins, Van Dahl, eh, Samadhi, and I can't send two alcoholics on this one. So Grant, you go there. We're going to keep these three here just in case we get something else. Because I have a feeling there's going to be another call. It's going to be a little sidewinder for uh, events here. Also, I'm going to really have to talk louder because I have a feeling the uh, the, the uh, you do it? Y'all, you son of Who escaped? Was there an offender? Well, sorry about that. All right. Miguel Cuddy didn't do his do, do a good job uh, first day. That's fine. Oh, no. Robbins had a car accident and is dead. Oh, my God. According to preliminary report, he appears that, that he was drunk. I didn't know he was drunk. I thought he was just on a... He was just... Oh, shit. That's not good. Oh, IA is going to have... Is, is gonna oh god I made a huge mistake letting him come in today all right um hostage situation with fatal casualty yeah, yeah, yeah okay reporters and onlookers have gathered around the building the silent patients are watching the growing crowd from the window on the third floor gain entrance through the back door storm the front door 
call a negotiator. Call a negotiator. What do we do? Offender caught. Officers unharmed. Civilians unharmed. Fantastic. We actually... Whew. We had one good call. Good. But unfortunately, Robbins died in a car accident because he was drinking. IA is going to be on my ass about that one, I'm pretty sure. I thought he was just, you know, uh, uh, just not having a good day after drinking. I thought he was maybe just had hung over, you know? Like, I didn't think it was that bad. So, Birch we're going to be careful with because he might get on the same road. But hey, at least now we can hire a female cop. It's, it's a thing. Reckless endangerment. A frightened woman phoned in reporting that two men dressed in armor were running through the streets shouting, Beware our stings. Oh, God. What is with this city? Seriously, is there something in the water? They were chasing passerbys and swinging their blades at them. They've not done, not yet done anyone harm, but their swords seem dangerous enough. Uh, Vandal, Samadhi, and uh, Bailey. You're a new officer. You go out there. Can I hire? Can I hire? Cops, can I? I don't have any slots open because, yeah, that's why. That's unfortunate. Uh, I have to wait until he's cycled out before I can get a new one in. But let me just look here real quick while we're paused. Actually, maybe not. Let's start the game. One, two, uh, three, and then we have one, two. Okay, yeah, we definitely don't. Have, if, if A shift looks, if B shift looks anything like A shift, we definitely don't have half the force being well, female officers. That's a problem. I I missed that. It's only because I was doing this in different. Uh, what do we got here? Fender caught. Officers unharmed. Civilians unharmed. Fantastic. That's great. Only because um, I, I've i been doing it different sessions for this game. I totally forgot about that deadline and now I'm screwed. That's, that's only because I was doing different recording sessions. Christopher Sand. An old friend is visiting Mr. Sand and they're planning on going horseback riding. But the owner of the country club was just called. He wasn't making much sense. And it sounds like the punks are beating Mr. Sand's horse to death. Um... Oh, let's do this one. I know the sands are sitting up higher than Vargas or Varga, um, which is a problem because I want them to kind of be even. But uh, you know, I probably should have ignored that call. I really should have. But what, else, what, what are you gonna do? What can I do? You know, Night time is falling. Let's see what we got going on tonight for uh, any kind of activity. I don't think I can do it. Yeah, I can't hire anyone until, I guess, the next time we run a chef, which is going to be uh, probably um, next month, apparently. Two days. Two days it'll be. Um, nope, I guess they took care of the Christopher Sand thing. I never get reports for those, interesting enough. Oh, we've got one last call today. Noise complaint in the ghetto. All right. Klim Yuryev uh, reports that suspicious people are... Constantly going in and out of the apartment next door. They're carrying big bags, making lots of noise, screaming, and his three sons can't concentrate on their homework. He urges that someone, someone's got to go show the bandits who's boss. Wow, he really. Well, you know, it's the last call of the day. I have no problem sending every officer out there, but we're keeping Birch here. Uh, paddy wagon is that available? Yeah, it is. Look at that. Paddy wagon actually is back. I, the SWAT team just can't go out. All right, we're gonna send all the cops out there. Birch is staying on light duty because of his bullshit. It is, really should have sent uh, both of them home, and now the officer has paid the price for it. But hey, he shouldn't have been. Cut, he should, I don't know. He shouldn't have come into work at all. Period. But you know, he shouldn't have been drinking last night, knowing he had to work the next day. So I don't know. There's so many things that are going to come up in this investigation, I'm sure. What the hell is this? No one for the sand. A uh, whole mob of Vargas people attacked a truck belonging to one of our companies. The truck is carrying some important cargo, the kind that Mr. Sand uh, and his deputies know about. Only know about. The driver uh, tried to call us, but we lost the connection. He might already be dead. If you stop those assholes before they make off the goods. Nope. This is one of those things that I have to not do. What do we got here? Fenders caught, officers unharmed, and we found some automatic weapons. Awesome. Um, we're going to sell those because that'll be a good amount of money right there. It'll probably get us up into the 60,000 uh, area. Yeah, we're not going to help him because Varga needs to have a couple wins here. So we're just going to not respond to that one. Just to keep the both, both mafias, you know, even because right now San is kind of leading the way. So we're going we're gonna to hold off on that one. And uh, let, let Varga catch up on some of his activity, which I think will help us in the long run. I don't know how this is going to play out with the two of them and picking sides and whatnot. I really don't. All right. Let's see what we got here. So, San okay, so Varga's picking up a little bit. He's six out of seven. 
So he's the leader right now, but it's 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 working out. We're evening out. We're going to keep it that way as best we can. And uh, okay, we need to do some paperwork on a dead employee, unfortunately. All right, we're not going to delay the paperwork because I need to I need to fill that slot with an actual cop. So we're going to declare dead. Really sorry, Robbins. He was one of my star players too. It's just a real shame. Who do we got for B? Yeah, we definitely got more male employees than we do female. I almost thought that was a female employee. I'm really sorry there, Percy. Uh, God, we had to hire him. I remember that for because he was just 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 anyway. All right, so this is kind of a problem. Um, I know tomorrow we're probably gonna get word from from our uh, what do you call it uh, to town hall, and they're probably gonna pull a cop slot from us, which is gonna suck. Um, that's a real cop lock right there, if you pardon the pun. But all right, we're gonna end this day today, and uh, that's gonna be it for that. So day eighteen, join me there. Thank you guys for watching, and see you on the next one.